Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be filming another video and to be back with you guys. Life was just really crazy over the past two months and I just felt like I needed to step back, take some time and really just be with my family, with my friends. So um, that's what we did, but I'm super excited to be back. I filmed multiple videos for you guys, but I just could not bring myself to edit them, to do voiceovers, to get anything out. So instead, we are starting over now with the last video that I'm filming of 2022, but you'll see it tomorrow. So the first video of 2023. So I'm super excited about that. I'm really excited to be back with you guys. I really enjoy doing this and just having my creative outlet to share with you, to try to just bring you along through what I'm doing to make you feel less long if you're going through similar things. But I realized I never showed you my Christmas decorations um, anywhere. Like I took time off of social media as well. For the most part, I didn't really get on much at all, to be honest. And it was the perfect and just a really great way to, for me, finish out 2022, focusing on all the things that truly matter and being able to be present in all those times but i did want to at least show you my christmas decorations because i really love them this year they were much more simple compared to years in the past so i wanted to do an undecorate with me to get ready for the new year i didn't decorate until much later so i kept it up for a little bit longer but i'm ready to have it all down to have a clean start tomorrow and just throughout the video, I want to share a little bit of um, some goals that I have for the new year, um, some encouragement for you, and hopefully some fun things coming soon that you guys can participate in with me. Um, so if that's all things that you're interested in, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get started because I really only have two rooms to fully undecorate because I didn't decorate much at all this year. But let's get started so since i didn't get to do an actual decorate with me this year i still wanted to show all of my decorations that i had up before we take them all down um i always love my christmas tree it is one that we've kept the same theme for years but we have our special ornaments on there which i absolutely love we do this one in the living room because it's white lights and it's just so classy looking i just love it and then You'll see another one that we have in our dining room. That one's more of our like fun candy themed tree um, that just feels a little bit more whimsical, but also has the colored lights, which I absolutely love. So we have that. And then I have just loved these flameless candles and just having those set around. It's so nice and just gives the perfect setting of the mood for the evening time. And we absolutely love it. All of my decorations are ones that have been either handed down to me like this tree right here from my nanny all of this over here actually the little sleigh with the gifts the santa claus um this village right here has been as well and then ironically enough that stuffing right there or that snow right there is actually stuffing from a dog toy i realized it fit perfectly and that way i didn't spend money on the fake snow and could just reuse so there's my recycling tip there but um, I did much more simple on the dining room table this year and I really just loved it you'll see kind of overall I really didn't go big this year I just did simple but I was so happy with how everything came out it always makes me so happy to have everything set up for Christmas but just as happy to be able to take it down and have just a fresh start for the new year so you'll see a lot of my pieces if they're not hand-me-downs they're DIY from the Dollar Tree or from Hobby Lobby or Michael's and these plates here are actually from TJ Maxx when we had our friends over so that was just the best there but it is nice to just be able to take everything down it's always my tradition to put everything up with my little sister but I'm usually the one taking it all down and getting to have the fresh start so I hope you guys enjoy and if you don't already have yours down when do you usually take your Christmas down are you one that waits till after the new year are you someone that does it immediately the day after Christmas? Um, usually we do it between the week of 
Christmas and New Year's, but since I didn't get to decorate quite as quick this year, I decided to wait until New Year's Eve, and that way we still had a fresh start for the next day, which is today when you're watching it, but we were still able to enjoy it for a little bit longer. I am so excited for all of the great things to share with you guys and just the things that we get to try together to create together this coming year. So I am just super excited and we are so blessed. We cannot wait to see what the Lord has in store for 2023, which I cannot believe it's already the start of a new year. It feels like 2022 just started, but also was forever at the same time, if that makes sense. But we are so excited. Comment down below what you are most looking forward to this year. The last place I did decorate was here in our front bathroom. Just did, I just did really simple, like cute winter things with the snowman. And then I have one of my yummy scents of from Bath and Body Works. And then this cute little snowman was actually a wall plug at one point, but it broke and I don't have anything to go with it now. So instead I just put some of the fairy lights in there that I got from the Dollar Tree. And now it's so cute, like when the lights are turned out, I love it. So got both of the trays down and then a lot of the Christmas things as well, especially in the living room. I'm really gonna leave like this table set because one, I just think it's so cute. I found these, these were little ornaments that I found at Dollar General. And you know, I just have these as like staples and I rotate out the decor that goes on top. And that's one of my biggest tips, especially if you don't have a ton of storage space to really conserve that and just have more minimal decor in terms of like how much you have to store. Um, but I did get these and I thought that was just the cutest little thing. So I am keeping out some of these things because I'm leaving them as like winter decorations. So I'm still going to get rid of the Christmas tree sign up there. And then of course the Christmas tree um, drink dispenser over here. I thought that was so cute. I saw it from um, someone that I follow on Instagram and they shared like a Christmas punch recipe. So we always do like a more standard Christmas punch, but then we also did the Grinch punch and that was so good. So um, I thought that was cute. So that stuff of course will go up. But some of the other things that are more just neutral aren't necessarily Christmas, I am leaving up. So the thing on the mantle, I'm going to leave that. I think that's just so pretty. And of course, all of the candles and things. So I'll still put up the two things on the center of the table here and then leave the little candle itself. But other than that, that really wraps it up. Not as long of a video today, but I just really wanted to catch up with you guys and... I'm excited to be back next week to share. Um, I know it'll be after the new year, but because these are year long goals, it doesn't really matter when you start. And to be honest, they're actually just not for the year. They're for 
just healthy habits I want to create as a lifestyle. I want to get back into that. So um, I've also been pretty sick here recently. So another reason why there really haven't been videos because you know, a lot of my things are that I love posting are grocery hauls and meal preps or ingredient preps and things like that. And I haven't even really been able to do that much. So I'm excited to get back onto doing that. Um, now that all the holidays are past, we can really get down a good routine. I think that's going to be one of my things that I want to show and want to invite you guys to work on with me is to create a great evening routine for yourself, which then will lend you to create a great morning routine for yourself. Because I just noticed here lately that I wake up, I snooze way too many times, then I'm rushing out the door. That sets the stage for the day, but it's so hard to break a habit if you don't have a good process in mind or things to help you like want to get up early. So I really just have some great things that I'm wanting to do and I will share more about that in the next video. But just wanted to pop in and say hi. I've missed you guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching and I'll be much more active now on my Instagram over at The Healthy Script. And yeah, just thanks so much for being here and for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next Sunday with another video that will hopefully motivate you. And if you have any suggestions, anything you would like to see, anything you need help with, comment down below or send me a DM on the Healthy Script and I would love to chat with you. See you guys next time.